Washington Pod presents Earl Nightingale. One time the late Dr. Maxwell Maltz, whom we called Uncle Max, dropped by my office for a chat and lunch. We got to talking on his favorite subject, namely how a person can come to grips with himself, develop a healthy self-image, and find freedom in the world. He told me he had discovered four important steps a person can take on a regular basis to form the new habits that can build a healthy new self-image. And as he talked at lunch, I made notes on a scrap of paper. Here are his four points in the order in which he gave them to me. Number one, forgive others with no strings attached. You must clean the slate absolutely. Forgive every person against whom you might hold some kind of grudge. Clean the slate. You do this for your own sake, your own peace of mind. We don't hurt others when we hold hatred toward them. We hurt ourselves seriously. It can lead to serious illness. So number one, forgive others, all others. If you cannot take this first step, you can forget the rest. You haven't grown up yet. Two, forgive yourself. See yourself with kind eyes. Try to forget completely all the idiotic things you've done, the pain you've given to others, the embarrassments you've suffered, the mistakes you've made in the past. Forgive yourself. Wipe clean the slate. Look in the mirror, he said, and forgive yourself. Practice this, and you can actually pull it off. Now, it's not easy to forgive ourselves. We tend to be much tougher on ourselves than we are on others. But the fact is, blame doesn't help. It's a destructive emotion. See yourself with kind eyes. That's number two. Number three, see yourself at your best. As Dr. Maltz put it, we can start the day in frustration or confidence. Take your pick. Now, the intelligent thing to do is to pick confidence, if it's at all possible. There are bad days, but it's better to begin the day in a confident mood than in a mood of frustration. And number four, keep up with yourself. Don't worry about what others are doing or what others have done or have. Keep your pace. It's different from the pace of others. It's faster than some. It's slower than others. Forget the Joneses and don't feel guilty about moving ahead of some of your contemporaries. The person who deliberately holds himself down to a slower pace just to be one of the gang is a fool. Keep up with yourself. Live the life you want to live. Earn what you want to earn in serving others and do what you want to do. Live your own life and don't be too concerned about how others are living theirs.